guys, it's Michelle. So today I'm going to answer a question that I've been receiving from a lot of you. And it's basically um, about high impact moves in the program Insanity. Insanity, as most of you know, it's really high intensity. Um, it's go, 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 super cardio. There is strength built in there using your own body weight, but the cardio portion is just phenomenal. Lots of plyometrics. And that can be a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because it really burns calories, gets your metabolism revving, which is awesome. The bad side is that if you've got knee problems or back problems, it's a real issue. And of course, you can still do the workout program, but listen to your body. That's the biggest thing, I can, most important thing I can tell you is you must listen to your body. But if you choose to go through the program, um, one of the major moves that they do that's really high impact are, is the jump tuck. And they do the jump tucks with their legs facing forward and also the jump tucks with your legs going out to the side a little bit. So what I'd like to show you is um, how to modify those moves so that you take away the impact um, on your knees and you can still get your heart rate up and still work the right muscles without all of the impact. So here it goes. Here's your basic jump tuck. You go down, you squat, and you jump up. You down, you squat, and you jump up. And Sean T varies that a lot throughout the workout. Either you're um, you know, just jumping frequently or pretending to jump a jump rope, whatever. It's the same type of movement. He varies it slightly. The way you can vary that is either just do a simple squat without the jump. You can do the squat and then raise up to your toes so that you're not leaving the ground, but you feel like you're leaving the ground with, um, by just coming up on your toes. And of course, the other option is just squatting and raising your leg up. So you alternate sides with which one leg you raise. So you're still getting the cardiovascular, as you can tell from my breath, the cardiovascular metabolic effect of increasing your heart rate. You're still working the, the major muscles, your legs and your glutes in that move and also your stomach. The other option, if the, the squatting is not really a good idea for you for whatever reason, you can simply do crunches in the front. Really squeezing those muscles, really crunching down as you, uh, as you make that move. So that's the, the option that you have to do those moves. The other move that he does is, uh, I forget exactly what he calls it, but it's a basically a plyometric move, also a jump tuck, but with your legs going out to the side. So this is what it looks like in the video. He does another variation of that, where your arms come down, high impact move again. And same thing, you can do the same move using the same modifications that I showed you with doing the jump tucks with your knees going forward. So you can either just turn your feet out a little bit and do little plies like this. You can do the plie and then come up on your toes. That way you're using more of your calf muscles. Or you can um, do a squat and then raise one leg up, going from side to side. I found that this particular move um, mimicked the intensity of the actual plyometric movement the best. Or of course you can just stand and alternating leg lifts to the side. So those are your options for you. He does a lot of other um, plyometric moves, obviously throughout the program, but those are the two that are really high intensity that I personally found very hard to do with my knee issues, so I always made some modifications. So I hope that helped you. Any more questions, you know, you know how to find me, email me um, and let me know what those questions are or leave a comment below. Hope that helped. Have a great day. Bye.